Here's a pinpoint weather update on Utah's CW30. On the time 744, let's check your weather out there with meteorologist Nate Larson and for Thomas. And how was the Larson family Christmas? You know, it was nice. Uh, we got to enjoy again lots of downtime, which is not mm -hmm. usual yesterday. So enjoyed some mm -hmm. of that. Hopefully you did as well. We didn't uh, have any downtime. That's no for downtime. Sure. Okay, yeah, you got to get go, go, go. That's the other uh, way usually the holidays go as well. So uh, sleepier start though in St. George. We've got uh, nice ca calm conditions. Sun's on the way up. It's going to be a mostly clear start to the day with partly cloudy skies expected. Temperatures pretty comfortable this afternoon. In fact, we should be in the low 60s in St. George. Beautiful start of the day. This is Deer Valley again showing the snow. There's no fresh snow overnight, unfortunately, but we've got snow in the forecast. If you're hoping for some good powder days, I think we were set up nicely to see several of those into this week. So headlines dry today, hazy skies up north, down south again, just partly cloudy, but moisture really increases tomorrow. So northern Utah, the Wasatch Front, Umbrellas are going to be needed tomorrow. Unfortunately, we've got rain pushing in as snow will likely stay above 7,000 feet and milder storm system coming in. Uh, it is packing a good punch, though. It will could generate a very active weather pattern as we get into the rest of the week. Temperature wise, I think we're going to be mild enough, unfortunately, to see rain, if not a wintry mix tomorrow, Wednesday. Bit of a break Thursday. Still could see a stray rain snow shower. And then Friday, Saturday, more wintry mixes as temperatures are expected to be uh, well above freezing with our storm systems. The pattern is showing it coming coming in off the central Pacific, uh, so it's more of a warm storm tapping into subtropical air. So when we typically have a scenario like this, an atmospheric river event, our mountains do really well. Feet of snow are expected, initially slamming into the high Sierra Nevadas. Uh, moisture comes up and over, impacting the Beehive State. This is tomorrow afternoon. I think by tomorrow morning we start to see some rain showers, however. Widespread rain snow shower activity across the state on Tuesday evening. The front sliding through should drop temperatures some, more of a wintry mix, if not briefly snow for all Northern Valley locations on Wednesday afternoon. But by the time we get cold enough, that northwest flow kicks in. A lot of the moisture shifted to the south and east of us. Bit of a break on Thursday. Might see a few uh, scattered showers. Next chance will be Friday as our next wave of uh, moisture moves in. Another storm system also tapping into subtropical moisture. And so we're expecting just a plethora of snow in the mountains as we get into the weekend. So starting tomorrow, through the end of the week. No current winter weather warnings or advisories have been issued just yet for the northern Wasatch Front, but notice how much moisture some of the models are estimating. Boy, just a, a lot of snow, up to a foot, two feet of snow, I think, for a lot of the ski resorts between tomorrow and Wednesday evening. Should be a really good storm system. 28 in Vernal for the high today. We're stuck in the inversion, so we're staying below freezing. 39 Rock Springs, though. Logan, 43 in Salt Lake. Provo, 44. About 48 in Lake Powell, 61 for St. George Bluff, 50 degrees for your high. Now St. George, the extended forecast, we're about 61 today and tomorrow. Both days seeing some high clouds out there. Low 50s on Wednesday. Rain showers are likely Tuesday night, I think, into Wednesday morning. Breezy winds as well. We dropped 10 degrees. Should be in the upper 40s on Thursday. Chance of moisture kind of sticking around, but rain late Friday. Chance of rain Saturday and on Sunday. So New Year's Eve, New Year's Day. Might be a little bit soggy. In fact, some of the moisture content uh, should be some really healthy rainfall amounts. Hope give us a little bit of a boost to catch up some of the drought uh, conditions that we're still under, under in the Beehive State. So 43 on Monday for the Wasatch Front. Tomorrow showers 46, 40 on Wednesday. Rain snow showers are expected. Overnight lows still above freezing into Wednesday. 36 though still cold enough to see some snowflakes. 38 on Thursday, 40 on Friday. Rain snow showers Saturday with a chance of snow lingering into Sunday. Highs near 30 for New Year's Day and models are still showing that we could see yet another storm Tuesday, Wednesday next week. So we're going to keep the storm door open uh, into the new year, which is great news. Again, we're still in a drought, unfortunately, even though we've had a good snow year so far.